。知名的华尔街分析师丹·埃弗斯啊，给出了他对于特斯拉最新重磅的一个观点。Tesla has been one of our favorites for a decade, right? I mean, I I believe the autonomous valuation alone is at least a trillion dollars. And I think Tesla. We talk about two trillion as a base, but potentially three trillion in terms of a, a bull case scenario. Because look, this is not about necessarily just selling cars. I think where where everyone's always missed Tesla, many you guys see on the other side of this now. Musk, wartime CEO, focus really on what I believe robo taxis. They will own the autonomous world. I mean, I I, th- I really think a rounding error is going to be Waymo when it's all said and done. Because of the scale and scope, and you know our team saw it in Austin, and you're going to continue build out across San Francisco, eventually here in New York, thirty or thirty five cities. Next few years, we believe look twenty percent of automobiles driven will be autonomous. Tesla is changing the world there, and also then you start thinking about things like robotics. Optimus is where Tesla plays a huge role. Nvidia because they're a physical AI play. So when you think about AI, a lot of times, like I'll meet people on the street and they'll be like, "Oh, I tried ChatGPT," and that, I'm like, "Hey, that is like breadcrumbs before the appetizer, before the actual meal in terms of where we are." In what look, we're living in a fourth industrial revolution, and that's why big tech stronger and gets stronger. Do you have other names in terms of、uh, AI and hardware that you think are interesting? Yeah, I mean, look, there, there's names like. I mean, personally, I think names like when you look at names like SAP, what they're doing, I think super interesting. I think on the infrastructure side, Nebesis, Core Weave have been core names that we've been bullish on. Then there's even names like you know when I look like Innodata, some of the small cap names. You look at some of the application plays like a Soundhound. I I think names like Palantir is actually just to start on the software side because I think what you have is really it's emerging where the software use cases are now going to start to explode. Snowflake,、mm-hmm. MongoDB, Elastic is good examples. Now、mm-hmm. you could take on the other side of that names like Salesforce,、mm-hmm. Adobe, because the, the the view is like AI eating their lunch. But I mean, it's about the ins- they have install bases.、Mm-hmm. I would not bet against Benioff. I would not bet against Lisa Sue at AMD, and I think now you're going to start to see this spread in terms of this AI revolution. Humanoid robots is a huge thing. Huge Obviously, thing. Tesla is probably the only public company that's got a robot that you can get some exposure to.、Mm-hmm. Do you think that all the private companies eventually in public in the next like twelve months? Look at Figure AI. I mean, they just raised a huge round, you know, and they've done some amazing things.、Mm-hmm. You know, I, I, I've seen that there.、Um, You know, at, at their facility, what they've some of the humanoid stuff they're doing. Because the reality is, like, we're not talking ten years away. We're talking eighteen months, two years,、mm-hmm. where this humanoid robot Tesla is the leader of it. I think Tesla is the best public play、mm-hmm. from an Optimus perspective.、Mm-hmm. But guess who's supplying all the chips?、Mm-hmm. Nvidia.、Mm-hmm. So it speaks to my view, like on Nvidia. And just overall, AI. investors underestimate because they're looking at it here. You got to see where it's heading over the coming years, and that's why I think robotics, autonomous, is truly the holy grail when、mm-hmm. it comes to AI. What is the best call you think you've ever made? Look, I think, I mean, again, it's like which which child you love better, but.、Um, Look, I think the Tesla call, you know, just in seeing the opportunity with Musk early on in terms of where that was going, obviously that that really that helped put me on the map. You know, recognizing iPhone with Jobs and how big that was going to be and everything that they were doing on services, and then I'd have to say, like, you know, Palantir and Nvidia, right? Like, of recent,、mm-hmm. recognizing the early AI story with Nvidia in late 2022, early 23, and then Palantir, recognizing like. Look, this is a teenager that's going. It's living above a hundred and eventually two hundred. But at the time, you look at like especially Palantir, Tesla. Like you think about those those two names. Those are some of the most like hated emotional bull bear stories you've ever seen. So you definitely need thick skin when you're going through some of those dark times. But I love it. Who cares what the haters? No,、say? but that's look. Haters hate. I always say haters hate, but that creates the opportunity if you're able to navigate, and that's what we've done our whole career in tech, and that's even why, like, 
with ACO and why I want to join as chairman because I look, I believe, like I've said, I believe like the, the to world, that is something where it's massively undervalued. It's massively undervalued in terms of the network, but I believe it's truly like it's the intersection of AI and crypto. Mm -hmm. Well, you also get a target on your back if you're right and you're fashionable. So, you know, those two things that, that don't make other people very exactly. happy. And that's the, exactly. And that started, you know, a long time ago in the fashion stuff. And I think a lot of times like dressing the way I do, it actually is very similar to like the way I call stocks, right? Yeah. It's a different style, beat of a different drum, mm -hmm. but that's always how I've done it. And it, it's something like from my process, that's how it's worked. Yeah. They're, they're just jealous that they couldn't pull it off. Look, and part of it is that like, I've also, I've never viewed it like personally a hater. So my whole goal is like, I love turning haters into supporters. Mm -hmm. I Because my whole goal is to make money for people. Like at the end of the day, like that's what I do. So when I, so many times, like when people bump into me in airports or whatever, or emails or whatever it may be, or, you know, I, I run into them, I love when people are like, hey, a lot of people are just like, market, this, that. I bought Tesla. I bought NVIDIA. I, and now I paid off my house. That, no, but it's cool. like that, that is like why I do this job. It's, it's that satisfaction that I get mm -hmm. playing a role in helping people. So, I mean, I remember like I was like in uh, in Europe and I met some guy from Africa and he's like, I just want to say like, because of you, I actually was able to pay for college here in Europe because I bought Tesla. So that shows the real impact mm -hmm. that you make. And that's that's what makes me smile. He thinks that now in the market, 对于特斯拉最大的误解呢，就是把它当成一家传统的汽车制造商去估值。他认为，光是自动驾驶 FSD 这一块就能够估值至少两万亿美元，而乐观的估计应该要估值到三万亿美元。他认为，核心的逻辑是特斯拉的 FSD 自动驾驶技术一旦成熟呢。相对于 w a y m o 这样的公司啊，它就应该淡出历史的舞台，它就会像四舍五入的那个数字被舍去一样啊，就是变得无足轻重。他认为未来百分之二十的所有人类的出行呢，都将是采用自动驾驶去出行啊，采用 Robert Taxi 的车队，而特斯拉将在这个车队中，在这个市场中将占据百分之八十的一个市场。他还提到了特斯拉其实就是 AI 领域的圣杯，两个圣杯，一个是 FSD， 另一个呢就是人形机器人。ChatGPT 这种聊天软件只是 AI 浪潮以来的一个开胃菜，而真正的主菜呢就是特斯拉，就是人形机器人、无人出车、人形机器人，这是解决物理世界的 AI。这一个市场比远比这一个市场远比那些虚拟世界的 AI 要更强、更大，而且更持久。他认为，全球的几万亿、几十万亿的劳动力市场呢，未来都会由人形机器人去代替。售价为两万美元的人形机器人呢，就能够替代每年要付工资四万到五万美元的那些工人。啊，你想一下，这是一个什么样的经济模式啊？你的造价、你的成本，你买了它才两万美元，它可以用个十年。这种变革一旦到来，会非常非常快。特斯拉是在这个领域唯一有先发优势、有数据优势、有芯片优势、有实际的工厂应用，让他去学习工作的一个优势的啊！是，而且特斯拉还有无与伦比的这个量产的能力、制造能力、垂直整合、整个供应链整合的能力啊！他还在中国这个对于人形机器人很多配件、很多零配件，他还在中国这个有。它还在中国的产业链里面占据了一个非常好的一个优势的地位，啊，这是其他不管你是 Fig 也好，还是其他所有的人形机器人公司也好，无与没办法比的这些东西啊，所以我们有很大的理由呢，认为特斯拉的人形机器人未来还是会像现在的自动驾驶一样。占据绝大多数的市场，所以所以丹艾弗斯，所以丹艾弗斯呢，他认为人形机器人这个，所以丹艾弗斯认为啊。人形机器人这个领域，特斯拉是唯二能够投资的标的。另一个看的就是 Fig， 但它你公开市场你也买不到啊。如果你相信这个人工智能去解决这这个世界的劳动力是一个必然会发生的问题的话，我问你，你有选择吗？啊，我相信很多人会有自己的答案啊。我的答案就是特斯拉啊。你不然你选谁啊？选语数科技吗？语数科技它那个手，它连那个精细手、灵巧手它做不了，它都没有啊。他整天就是在念那些武术的动作，在念打斗，而且被人拳打脚踢。你觉得他能够训练出来什么东西
，语数科技啊。特斯拉的人形机器人，就算是念武术，那也是一种啊非常文明的武术。你希望买一个什么样的人形机器人放你家里呢？是一个会非常暴力倾向的人形机器人吗？所以我觉得这个出发点就不一样啊。有的公司它的出发点就是错的啊，它就是为了取悦啊，以后要上春晚，要演功夫啊，那就不一样啊。你的出发点不一样，我不是说它是错的。但是你真的要去未来，要让大部分人能够用上这个人形机器人呢？我认为你肯定就不是一个打斗的人形机器人，不是一个表演性质的，你就是要慢吞吞的、缓慢的去进行这些工作的。其实 fig 这 fig， 也许你觉得他是拍的宣传片啊，拍的非常好，但是他的这个理念是对的。我们都在干活，你都是在看到 fig 在洗衣服啊、洗盘子啊。不是在打斗，不是在表演啊，这个方向是对的。所以我认为这这个整个领域啊，这整个领域我刚刚分析的这些都是特斯拉的优势啊。然后丹艾弗斯还聊到了，就是谁是这个 AI 领域的一个卖铲子的，他提到了英伟达啊。我认为他这个整个对 AI 的把握，他其实从非常早的时候他就开始看好英伟达，所以他的眼光眼光还是不错的。他自己呢，最后也总结了自己在投资领域的一个心态啊。他说，他制胜的法宝就是厚脸皮的心态，只看这个事实，而不在乎别人怎么看他。这也许可以给大家提供一些参考的价值吧。好的，感谢您收看，我们下期再见。再见之前一定要点赞、订阅我的频道，打开小铃铛啊，这是对我最好的一个帮助。